Hey guys, it's your silly rascal web designer here, brand designer, Canva designer, Olivia. Welcome to Canva Tip Weekly. Today, I'm using two other things aside from Canva. I know, I know. I'm going to show you how to do a continuous looking um, cut sort of object for um, Instagram, and then I'm going to show you a couple of other ways you can do it. So obviously a lot of you guys know you can pin posts in Instagram now. So typically pin posts should be like important things or like big topic things. I'm really tired of looking at these and I wanna have a collage that is seamless that goes across here uh, that features my three main services. So let's go. Over here in Canva, first of all, first of all, to do something that is seamless, we're gonna have to do some math. Don't, I, I know. I know you don't come to Canva Tip Weekly to do math. I'm gonna do it for you. So I need to, three items here that are gonna be seamless because I'm going to cut them. And I know that Instagram posts are 1080 wide. So I'm gonna use my handy uh, command space bar on a Mac, brings this up and I'm gonna do 1080 times three. Look at that. Don't even have to open the calculator. It's just right here. And that is 3240. I'm going to come over here to create a design. We're gonna do a custom size here. What did I say? That was 3240. <laughs> 3240 and the height is 1080. Create new design. Awesome. Now I've got this long skinny document. So first I'm going to hit the R. The R makes a rectangle, but it starts off as a square. I'm gonna hit the R, makes a rectangle. I didn't have to click on anything else, just hit the R. I'm then gonna put this uh, square up in the top right or top left corner, hold down shift, and then make it a full item. So now you can see the width and the height is 1080 by 1080. Oh. I'm now going to go to file. Uh, they changed this, view settings. I don't know why they changed this. It was perfectly fine where it was, but they did. So now it's view settings, and we want show rulers and guides. I almost always have these, and I'm surprised that it's not of it, not showing on my screen yet. Show rulers and guides. I'm then going to drag da, 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 a guide over here, right? This is now a guide on my document. It will not show up when I export this. It is just a guide. Then I'm going to move my square over here to my middle guide. And then I'm going to drag another guide. Check it out. Great. Now I have my design here, <laughs> my design here in three pieces. So I know that I, first of all, I want this to be this kind of green here, but I also kind of wanted to have my brand orange. So I'm probably going to come over here and find a curve. Ooh, not my best. I think this one will work. And I want it to be kind of in the corner here. Cause again, I want my brand orange as much as I want anything else. And you can kind of see where this is going. I'm going to be doing one big design so that everyone can see what we're jamming with. All right. <clears throat> so I do brand design. Can you imagine if I just left it like this? Website design and Canva design and tips. <laughs> All right, we're gonna actually change these to be my brand font, of course, and then take the line spacing, scrunch it up, and the letter spacing just a smidge. Now, I'm already unhappy with this. Can you guess why? Yell it out, yell it out to your screen if you know why I'm probably not going to be happy with this. That's right, it's not accessible enough. I'm actually going to make this background color my dark color and then change this guy to be this olive green right here so that my three can pop a little bit more on the background. I also don't think that these are big enough, so I'm going to make this like 125, there we go. Brand design, website design, Canva design, and tips. Web, I'm gonna scoot this orange up. Let me know in the comments if you actually like watching more, uh, like watch me design stuff. I'm gonna do brand and logo design. 115 like let me know in the comments if you would rather just me get to the point and show you or not do some of the design work or if you actually like seeing the design work great so that's good so now i'm going to come over to my icon suite i'm going to get some of my cute icons in here brand and logo design website design goes here don't 
don't worry, I'm not quite done designing. I'm still kind of tinkering around with how I want this to look, to be honest with you. Canva design and tips. I usually like this little coffee mug is cute. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna make myself smaller. I am in the way. Cute. I think it's these that are bothering me. I want my brand colors in there, but maybe not in that way. I can always get those back. And let's try changing my icon to white. I don't really love that. Uh, I want this to be a little bit tighter. Don't forget you can use the paintbrush tool to click, click, click. Canva design and tips, website design, brand and logo design. Great. Now I'm going to get my logo in here. I like adding it as a background element. In this case, I think I'm going to do it as an off color. And then I'm going to start to get some collage elements in here. Probably um, first a photo of myself. Let's see. We're going to do maybe this one I really like. Background remover. You're gonna see where I'm gonna to start to add some elements in here and you're gonna go, oh, I get what she's doing now. Um, where is, I like to search Y2K. That's gonna give you these sorts of graphics right here that were really popular. This one in particular, I'm absolutely obsessed with. We're going to keep this one like this. Do I even like this picture of myself? I think so, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna put that one off to the edge right here. Canva and design tips. Cool. So I really love this. Let's make sure it's not, it looks like it's, yeah. I really love this collage style that's happening here. Website design, Canva design and tips. We're gonna move me over. I love that. I kind of want this right here, pink. Obviously I need a tiger. Stop yelling. I can hear you. I can hear you guys. Well, she's gonna add a tiger. Of course I'm gonna add a tiger. We've got that kind of thing in here. And then where's my tiger? Here's my tiger. I love this tiger. It's roaring and I love how it's roaring. That thing in particular. So we're gonna put this here. I think it's the icons that are gonna have to go and we're gonna do brand and logo design. Website design. I really want this to be very stand out, right? I want it to be when you land on my page, you see these three things and you're like, oh, okay. See, I want to do this, but then it's going to split my face across two, and that seems like it would be a little crazy. There we go. Okay, the design and tips, website design. Is that centered right there? I think so. All right, I'm going to pause and keep designing this. Okay. I think we did it. I, I think this looks looks pretty good. Each of these pieces on its own is going to look really good individually as people scroll and then also it's going to look really great as a uh, <laughs> uh, on my Instagram here. Boop, boop, boop. I like the dark color this time. It still has my orange. It feels really um, up leveled. I think it might even be cool if I italicized these just for add something else to it. What do we think? Canva design and tips. Yeah. Yeah. Cause each of these is on a third. Let's see. Yeah. I think that gives it a little bit of pizzazz. So let's, let's make sure that this is all aligned this way. I like this. So I do brand and logo design, website design and Canva design and tips. Incredible. Got this logo here. Got th this thing here. That's probably the weakest link. Um, let's see if I can't figure out another thing to put there. Uh, I know exactly what I'm going to put there. My famous mouse. I use it all the time. It's on my contact page, but it's a huge, um, component of Let's Go Studio. I'm going to put my cute little mouse. Perfect. I think that really teased this off really well. Uh, maybe the weak link is also perhaps this flower. Let's put it right here. The browser, I really like that it's partially right here and I still really like my tiger. Okay, we're done. All right, now you've been watching this far. Hopefully that was really fun. Let's actually slice and dice this and get it scheduled on my Instagram. So I'm going to click share and click download. PNG is great. There's only one item here. I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna click download and then we wait and we hydrate. 
don't forget that when you save this, uh, I don't know why it's here now, when you save this, it goes to your computer. It goes off of Canva, goes to your computer. So make sure you remember where things go. Next, you're gonna need another tool. There's a bunch of these, but I like this one. I think it's the easiest one. It's hideous. Whoever designed this did a terrible job, but in my opinion, it is the easiest one. So I'm going to click choose file, come over here, uh, find where I want that to be. Ba, ba, ba. Parts in width, I want it to be three. One, two, three. Parts in height, just one. I'm not going to touch any other, uh, except I'm going to do without changes, same as original image, and I'm going to click OK. What's going to happen here is that this handy little tool is going to cut this image for me into thirds, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Again, this is going to go over to your computer. I'm now going to click here and you're going to see da, 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 now I have three separate images that I can now upload to my Instagram. I use later.com so I'm going to drag all, well that didn't do it, oh no thanks, come on. I'm going to drag all three of these over here, let them upload and schedule them out. And this is just to show you I'm probably not going to actually do them back to back to back because I'm going to pin them. So it's not going to matter. But eventually, let's look at the preview here. Ta-da! It's going to, oh, I put web design on there twice. So let's not do that. It needs to be that. Uh, but I'm going to pin these. But check that out. That's going to be what it looks like eventually. Holy cow. I absolutely love it. So that is how you do a continuous looking post and cut it. You do need an additional tool. Look in the comments for that tool so that you have it. Uh, good luck. Have fun. This is also how you would do a continuous carousel. If you wanted a carousel that actually was chopped up and had graphics move across, you can see how this is working. Um, that is exactly how you would do it. Let me know what you're hoping to see next time and go follow me on Instagram if you are interested to see how this plays out because I'm going to sneakily start um, posting these over the next couple of days. So if you want to be ahead or comment and say, hey, like I saw you do this on Canva Tip Weekly, uh, that would absolutely tickle me to no end. Thanks so much, guys. We're